That's absolutely disintegrated. Wow, we're back. Hello, oh. Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters. We made another trip out to the Giants. Yeah, we did. Giants of Mining, Giants of Whiskey, five o'clock. It's time to have a dram. Now again, this is not a giant named whiskey. Nope. But it's a dusty beast. It's cask strength. It's um, 30 years old. It's distilled in 1974. <laughs> like, what is this even? 4.9%. Give it a shake it a shake. As you've seen, the other cork didn't make it. Disintegrated. You'll often find that with uh, some of these real old dusty whiskeys that's been laying around for a little bit. And uh, that's okay. I extracted it horribly, drained it poorly, and put it back in this bottle with some minor chunks left. Mm, just a couple floaties. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. It's a little bit of core. Worst case scenario, when you feel it, do this. Look at all the floaties still in there. Okay. That's not all cork though, let's be fair. No. <laughs> not all. Yeah, not all that's cork. It's just a little couple of chunks of cork, but that's okay. But I can smell this from here, so while Ty reads whatever's going on, I'm gonna just nose this. Y'all gonna learn today. Here's what we got. Linkwood 1974. Mm -hmm. Distilled at lower alcohol levels to bring out its full richness. Linkwood was renowned as a single malt, even in Victorian times. To enjoy this elegant 30-year-old cask strength single malt from the last ever bottling of the rare malts. Now, I'm about to say some things. Lay it on down, son. I don't want you to get upset. Tell me. <clears throat> Measure one part whiskey to two parts still water at room temperature. Any slight cloudiness is normal in an unfiltered cast. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one more time. Okay, I'll <clears throat> measure one part whiskey to two parts still water at room temperature. Why would you do that? No. Yeah, it's what it says. Okay, listen. It's what it says. We're going to need some help. We're going to have to measure. We're gonna have to try this. I mean, we'll try it neat first and see what happens. But I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna play it as still the game. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go by this. this yeah. Is clearly what else did they say? What else did they say? Because they went on to give tasting notes, which I don't like to read. But that's it. That's it. They they want you to put one oh, part of this okay. to two parts still okay. water at room temperature. Okay, simmer down, everybody. <clears throat> What? Yeah. What? That sounds outrageous to me. So, let's try it like it is, and then we'll play their game. I'll yes. play. I'll yes. play along. We'll see what happens. This is a beautiful golden color. 30 years old, it does not show by the color, but that doesn't mean so much sometimes, right? So, it's got a beautiful nose, though. Nose, I'm getting pear, and, uh, like, very, very ripe pear. A little bit uh, mothball as well. And the pear comes through, it's, it's fruity for sure. Yeah. Yeah, there's some kind of stone. Is it, is it pear or is it like crisp apple? Fruit. See, to me, I'm not getting crisp. No, sorry, soft, soft. Like it's been it's been prepared for an apple pie. And yeah, it's still yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. And sometimes you'll find an apple pie and or yeah. apple jam and uh, pear jam. Let me rephrase. Sometimes you will find apple jelly and pear jelly in the same jar for this just crazy blend. Sometimes that's kind of what's going on. Right? I don't know. Let's taste. Let's see. It's a little bit of melon on the nose. I found as well. Honeydew. Yeah, like 100%, right? Mm. Mm, that does not taste like its nose mm -mm. at all. That is different. That is dry. That is like old cut grass. Mm. 
That is weird. Huh. That's weird. Let's try the water. Actually, get a couple more sips in. <laughs> if you're ready. Here you go. Do we want to add water or do we want to do their uh I think we'll try their freaking crazy thing that they are going on here. With another with a different drink. Mm. Actually, if we could get some help and get a uh what's the thing called? Two a ounce measuring cup? Yeah, two ounce, one ounce pour thingies. A shot glass? A shot pour <laughs> measure thingy? A thimble? I don't know! A mini cup? I don't use it so much when pouring. There's a metallic one here somewhere. Our and production got, team is yeah, our, our diligently team. working in the background. Johnny camera guy. It might be uh, in the other one. Yeah, we're just looking at the headquarters. Um, we got a girl that comes in sometimes and she, she rearranges things and we can't find it. So she's looking for us. It's hard to find good help these days. And she's looking in the wrong cabinet still, so. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll just say uh, never mind. Look at this trapeze artist. Yeah. Cirque du Soleil. She's like three stories in the air. Oh man, I just love that noise. Oh yeah, I watered mine. I so it's stainless thing. steel, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun game. Check in the f***ing jar, please! Johnny Camera Guy, can you give her a hand? Like... <laughs> Guess it doesn't exist. Never mind. So, uh, we're looking for a thimble in a haystack. Yeah, it's stainless steel. It only ever goes in one place, but for some reason, it's um, not in that place in that uh, place that it's been for several years. But what can you say? What can you do? Oh, well. Tis. That's what it is. Just truly just too bad. <laughs> I'm gonna cut all this. <laughs> Excellent. Let's play their game. Okay. So. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> we were bantering with. Uh, <laughs> we were bantering, and uh, through the miracles of modern television, we. Have uh, this, what's it called? I don't know. Thimble? There's a technical term. Well, Bartenders will know. I call it a thimble because I don't know any better. Mm. So what's your plan with that? I already added some water to it. Okay. I just really wanted to change I'm going to play game. their game. You, you do their stupidity. So I'm going to play their game. And it says two to one, correct? Uh, one whiskey, two yeah, water. That's outrageous. We have... One whiskey, right? Yep, yep, now two water. Two water, should we go glacier water? Yeah, might as well. Might as well go glacier water. But you've got the other size. You gotta flip that around there, big guy. This is two. Are you sure? This is one, this is two. I'll believe you. This know. is how that works. Okay. Google it! I don't want to. Let us know in the comments below <laughs> if we know what we're talking about. We don't. <laughs> we don't. We don't. We're pouring two parts whiskey into... No, one part whiskey, two parts water. One part whiskey, two parts water. Here, just before you do it, I'll oh, read it again. Man. Just read, read it, it again, again, just to be sure. <clears throat> Measure one part whiskey to two parts still water at okay. room temperature. Okay. <laughs> you silly gooses. Why would you do that? I'm doing it. Yeah. They do told it. me to do it. I know. You can't defy the bottle. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Everybody relax, okay? We just lost 72 followers. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, man, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm skeptical. I'm highly, highly skeptical. I'm going to mix it around a little bit. I sh probably shouldn't have went with an ounce, but like, wait. What are you going to do? <sighs> do it. I'm shocked at the nose. That is immaculate. Oh, hold your, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hit me a little bit. I, I, I'm speechless. 
that nose. That is beautiful, tropical, musty oak on the nose. What man. are they? Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> I bet that was cologne. Oh, I am just, you know what? You're right. Oh, all the ladies gonna be coming now. Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is how we do, this is how mama taught me. All right. Oh, I could just smell it wafting from behind my ears. I'm actually shocked. I am shocked beyond belief. It's a lot of water. At the power in that nose. Now this, this looks like a Pinot Gris. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Um, it, it is extremely watered down, folks. You've seen what we just did, uh, but the nose has transformed into something just elegant and gorgeous. Now, let's see the palate. Let's see if that whiskey ended up drowning. I mean. These cats probably know what they're talking about. I would hope so. They've been in the business for. All right, let's give it a go. A long time. No, that's boring. I disagree 100%. That's delicious. Now. No, it's delicious, but it's like, it's boring. Is there too much water? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. There is too much water. Hands down, 100%, but it's tasty. And quite often what you find these cats are doing when they're writing tasting notes is they're watering stuff down below 40%, 35%, 30% sometimes to get these crazy notes, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it completely cuts that alcohol burn all together and you're just getting something different. This is really good. I don't recommend um, what they do on the label. One no. part whiskey, two parts water. I do not recommend that at all. But I do recommend a heavy uh, hand of water because water really mellows it up. This is too much to me. The nose is beautiful, gorgeous, luscious, beautiful nose, but it does lose a little something uh, in the mouth. Big time, yeah, yeah, big time, yeah. Oh well. Well, this was uh, this was interesting. This was a fun bottle to open, but that's good, man. I'm telling you, I'm not upset that I did it. I won't do it again, but. I'm not upset that I did it. I learned something valuable, and that's that this did not drown the whiskey. Tamed it hard, mm. but it didn't turn it into something unpalatable. Just took Almost. a nice big Irish wolfhound <laughs> and made him into a little Almost. tiny corgi. Yep, 100%. So, oh, well, at least now we know, right? Mm. We don't need to do that again. I don't recommend you all do it. As a matter of fact, if you own your bottle, do it. I mean, it's yours. I recommend that you do it. Give it a try. You got 25, 20 ounces, man. Give it a try. Like, you can do whatever you want with your whiskey. Give it a try. But the worst case scenario, you might not like it. Okay? I prefer a little bit heavier. But that's the way it goes, right? But anyway, cheers. Cheers, Ethan. Cheers, y'all. Well. chunks in there like a bunch yeah it's a little tiny little teeny microscopic pieces i can't know it doesn't look at the size of them ty they went through here no that's not yes possible. ty josh that's not ty, possible i passed it all through this look at the size of them this went here i believe you i'm saying yeah. that those must have been stuck look at the size of them man they're pretty teeny. No, they're not. They're huge. Oh, that's not the ones I was talking about. Yeah, okay, okay. good. You okay. blind man, you. Yeah. <laughs> you blind man, you. Yeah, I think you got them this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay.